In this video, I will show you how you can install Apache Spark and use PySpark with Jupyter Notebook. First, you need to download and install Anaconda, which will install Jupyter Notebook, Python, and other necessary things. You need to download the individual edition, which is free to use, and the URL for everything is in the description box. After the download is completed, install the setup. You don't need to make any changes, the default selection are just fine. Now it will take a while to install. The second step is to download and install Java. You need to download Java JDK 8, other version won't work. You will have to create an account in order to download the JDK. After the download is completed, click on the setup and install. Apache Spark make use of Java JDK to run. So without Java JDK, Apache Spark won't work. The third step is to download Apache Spark from the Apache Spark website. The URL will be in the description box. After the download is completed, you need to extract the content using 7-zip or any other software. Now move or copy the extracted folder to C drive. The fourth step is to download winutils.exe. The winutils.exe is available in GitHub. You can download it from there. It is required so that the Hadoop can work properly in Windows. You need to copy the winutil.exe from download folder and go to C drive, then go to Apache Spark folder and then go inside bin folder and paste it there. The fifth step is to set the environment variable and path. This is the most important step. Go to start and type edit the system environment variable. Now you need to create a new user variable. Put variable name as spark underscore home. Now 
you need to copy the path to the spark folder which is in your system and paste it as a value now create one more user variable hadoop underscore home and copy the same path as value next you have to edit the path which is available under system variables and add a new path to it you have to copy the address of the bin folder which is available in apache spark folder and paste it here you have to add one more user variable the variable name is java underscore home and the value is the path of the jdk The sixth step is to install find spark package. Open CMD from the Anaconda navigator and enter this command to install find spark package. Now we'll see how we can use PySpark. Now, when we try to import PySpark, we'll get an error. No model name PySpark. This is because Jupyter Notebook cannot find the PySpark which is available in Apache Spark folder. So, we installed FindSpark so that Jupyter Notebook can find the path where PySpark is installed. So, to use that, we need to import find spark find spark dot init to initialize the find spark and we use find spark dot find to just display the path where the pi spark is available now when we import pi spark there will be no error that line is executed without error now we we'll write a small program to check the working of PySpark I create an RDD using SC dot parallelize function and then make some transformation on the RDD using map method we can check the job which are executed by this Apache spark using localhost colon 4040 Thank you for watching, please like the video and subscribe the channel.